Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dragon Militia. Now today I'm going to be doing an awesome discussion with Mike from Laughing Stock Media on Dragon Ball Super. And this is going to be discussing the recent episode we had a couple weeks ago. And this is going to include spoilers for upcoming things in Super, such as the Universe 6 arc and the Chapter 7 manga. So if you don't want any of that stuff spoiled, please turn off the video now, but that is your warning. So I have this theory, and you saw it from the title, that I think just about maybe not just about but a lot of characters can honestly gather and uh, harness this god key through training in this realm that Whis had uh, spawned out of his staff that Goku and Vegeta went inside I was talking with Mike off the air about this and I think that if any character that is I guess strong enough to maybe withstand the, the uh, environment they can potentially get that godly energy because we said to get stronger you need to control your key and not let it leak out of your body that's what he's telling Goku and Vegeta and um, maybe it's not about being strong maybe it is just linked to having god energy to survive in that realm because once they unlock the god energy they can move around and fight freely but I think that characters like Piccolo and maybe even Majin Buu can get to this level of power by doing this um, Mike, what do you think about this? Because I think this kind of links in, this is my theory to linking it all into the Universe 6 arc, where we know Boo and Piccolo are also joining the fight. What do you think about this? I mean, to be honest, like, I don't see why other characters wouldn't be able to become gods, because we know that they're supposed to be gods of each planet. Like, we never saw one for the Saiyans, but, like, Guru is supposed to be the god of the Namekians, that's why he makes the Dragon Balls and he transfers his energy to Mori, who becomes a new one, you know, they call him the Grand Elder, though. Uh, Kami was the god of the Earth and he had energy, but before God, you know, before Kami was actually god, all the gods before him were supposed to be human. So, I mean, that leads me to believe that any character should realistically be able to, to either attain or be given god key, but I would assume that if the trick to become a god or the trick to get god key in your body or to create it or whatever it is, um, is actually control your key to keep it within your body and make it show it so it doesn't leak out. I don't see why anyone wouldn't be able to attain this power, and assuming that that's really the key to getting this higher level of power, then Piccolo should be able to do it, Boo, uh, you know, even Master Roshi, Krillin, freaking Chaozu could do it, you know I mean? Imagine Tien using a tri-beam with God Key. I mean, it would kill anything, so I think that there's, you know, I think that it makes sense that literally anyone could do this. Right, I agree, and we want to probably, because I know people, I, I guarantee people are going to mention this in the comments. Frieza, his training was different. Frieza had never trained in his life. He got to this, we didn't see his training in depth, but he wasn't in some dimension trying to control his key necessarily, it didn't appear like. He was just getting stronger out of pure strength, right? We can both agree on that. It's not like he was um, doing the same type of thing Goku and Vegeta, you know what I mean? Well, the thing is that what... Frieza's weakness ended up being with his stamina is likely directly related, and they'll probably bring this up in the actual series proper, is probably directly related to the fact that he does not keep his key within his body, because obviously, if he didn't let his key leak out except for when he's attacking, you know, then obviously he would be able to maintain that form for much longer and not have these stamina issues, so it seems like basically that is going to be a large thing that it's probably going to be tied into. It's, it's completely different from Goku and Vegeta's training, though. It's just pure power that he gets another form, so he rushes to Earth to fight them. Right, right, and I think that, again, I think that this whole thing with them learning to control their key, I think that is going to play a part in the whole... Um, I guess you could say maybe Piccolo and Boo being trained. I'm not really sure about Boo though. Boo's not exactly the most um, intelligent individual. You could say Piccolo definitely. I mean, Piccolo, assuming you know they, whether or not they want to keep it consistent with him having uh, a godly presence or not, because sometimes he can sense God being, sometimes he can't, um, depending on what they want them to do. Do you think that he'll be able to, if they bring him into this dimension, do you think he'll be able to withstand it because of his god key, or do you think they're going to forget about it and have him just train in there? If they even do this at all, I'm not saying this is ever happening, this is just a theory. I'm not saying this is happening in any way, but what do you think? Do you think that he will be able to withstand that area, or do you think that's, like, what would be your theory to how he would get so much stronger to fight in a tournament? Among well, gods. I think that it's going to be a part of that. I think that likely, the, he, I mean, if Whis is actually going to train these people who are going to be fighting in this tournament, I think it is likely to suggest that 
Piccolo or Boo or whoever would be able to go within this realm that is seemingly contained within Whis's staff. And they would be able to, so long as they could actually control their key and not let it leak out, they should theoretically be able to actually, you know, move around and train with it. And I assume that even though they haven't really gone in depth about what happens in that realm, maybe they will in the future, I hope so, when the other characters are training, um, it, I, I assume that the effects of that realm on someone's body is, like, just as intense or maybe even, like, like ridiculously intense to the like hyperbolic time chamber standards so i would assume that maybe that combined combined with that will teach them how to keep their key in their bodies and actually allow them to power up to a significant degree right so do you think that being in that area is i think is the final question we should probably leave us off on because i think we've uh squeezed enough out of that we can um the final question for you is do you think that dimension is about being Surviving in that dimension and moving around, do you think that's linked to the god key itself or just being strong? Do you think Frieza could jump in there and move around, or do you think it has something to do with the god key specifically? I think it's entirely due to the fact that, because again, Goku and, Ve and, Be uh, Goku and Vegeta are super powerful. So realistically, they shouldn't have had any problem, you know, moving around in that dimension. It seems like it's tied directly into keeping your key within your body while you're moving around and fighting and stuff like that. It seems like that's directly tied into and, that. And for all we know, we could have literally, I mean, Beerus had prior knowledge of this area. This, we could have created it for that specific reason is to train people to just control their key. Yes. Um, it might not, again, it might not have anything to do with just having a godly present. It could just be... Um, Maybe this place stops putting pressure on you when it doesn't sense any key coming off you. That could be yeah. it. And the thing is that, again, as we see in the manga in the newest chapter, Goku and Vegeta are now training in the time chamber. Right. So <laughs> why would they train in the hyperbolic time chamber if, like, that dimension is even better for them to train in unless it's entirely for them to actually control their key, gain god key, and achieve that level of Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan when they turn into a, you know, Super Saiyan Blue or whatever you want that, to call that's it. That's a very good point. Well, I... Uh, unless you want to say anything else, I think that's a good point to, to wrap this up. Uh, do you have anything else to add, Mike? Um, no, I mean, uh, aside from the fact that just imagine how powerful Broly would be if you were able to keep his key in his body. I was the same thing. It's clearly fo foreshadowing a future arc in Super, but... Um, we all know that Broly is actually inside that robot. <laughs> clearly, he's controlling it. You could see the energy. Uh, I mean, pure mor normal morals watching the video can't see the energy but if you're a god you can clearly see it but i think that's a uh, good and uh uh that's a nice spot to end this video off i'd like to thank mike for joining me on this video don't forget to check out his channel full of dragon ball content as well as other things um some star wars stuff coming up and always on the channel right mike yep always lots of stuff to come in the future all right well with that guys go don't forget to check out his channel let me know what you guys think of this theory down below what do you think about it? you think this is actually going to happen or do you think it's just some crazy uh, crackpot theory I have here, but uh, let me know what you guys think. And uh, other than that, I'd like to thank you all for watching and catch you later.